Hi, I'm Stephanie Roach. I'm a professional footballer and I play for Ireland and Sunderland Ladies. I'm supporting La Let's campaign to talk about becoming a teen. Yeah, I, I remember it quite well actually because it was a strange one. I mean, I was obviously were playing football. I was always kind of going to be probably playing football when I got it, but I remember um, it was after a match and I was with my dad and my brother. We had um, gone to a pub to, to watch the United and Newcastle match for big United fans. We never wanted to miss a game, but we went there and had some food and, and we're watching the match and I just felt something when I was sitting there and, and decided to go to the bathroom. I just remember kind of thinking, oh, it's came, kind of I was happy. And, but then I was like, oh no, my dad and my brother, what do I do here <laughs> type of thing. So I just remember it being um, a strange feeling, but it was a great thing at the same time because all my friends had got theirs and it was something that I was happy to have. But um, I never wanted a match to be over so quick because I went back out and was sitting there knowing that I had it and couldn't say anything to my dad or brother because it was just too awkward, I suppose, at the time. But um, I was lucky enough that after that my dad, we went back up to my granny's to see her and I was able to go in to talk to her and, and she knew straight away as soon as I said to her that um, something had happened. She, she used to call them my friends. <laughs> it was a funny one. She used to say, oh, your friends have come. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's it. And she just brought me upstairs and, and looked after me. So I was lucky enough that my dad brought me straight to my granny straight after. <laughs> No, not really. I think um, obviously I knew that it was going to come sooner, like soon enough. And all my friends, I think I was one of the later ones of my friends to get it. And I always remember kind of asking my sister things like that. Maybe I should I be prepared and stuff like that. And she she kind of helped me out as best she could. But I think it did come when I least expected. If that makes sense. So it would kind of encourage girls to maybe to be prepared a little bit better than I was, to be honest. Yeah, I think um, for everybody, I think they always get the, the stomach cramps and the pains and aches and it's not a nice feeling, obviously you feel like you don't feel good, you don't feel yourself, but um, I used to get, um, I still get spots as well around my period and my skin gets really bad and I always notice it like before my period is due, my skin starts to get bad and it's just like, oh no, here it comes type of thing. So that would probably be the main thing that, that I remember, but I always know that like when I have my period, I just want to go home and and curl up in the ball, like everyone does, you just don't want to move, you don't want to have to do anything, but I think for me playing football really, really helps me. I think um, obviously it's been proven that like exercise helps ease the pain and stuff like that, but I always thought like I just want to go home, I don't want to move, but then as soon as I went there, like usually I'd have training in the evening, so I'd have to go out and train, and as soon as I started training I'd be kind of like, oh I actually feel a lot better doing this, so I did feel better going out and doing stuff and, and trying to kind of keep myself active rather than and feeling sorry for myself, I suppose, and sitting around kind of just chilling out in the house. I, I preferred to go out and, and play football and do something to, to get my mind off, I suppose, more than anything. We all kind of felt really proud that we had it, if that makes sense. It was a strange one because it was like, oh, well, we have a period now, we're all growing up, that type of thing. So it was definitely something that um, everybody in the group would kind of say, oh, yeah. Got my period. I don't feel great today. That type of thing, you know. Like on the way, maybe if one of the girls was in a bad form, he said, "You said you got your period." You know, like on the way, it became a joke as well as everything else. It's just, I suppose, it's just the way girls are, and especially because we had such a little tight knit group of friends, which was just nice to have. But uh, no, we weren't really. We were kind of. We talked about it all the time. It was never kind of, and that was that private, really. Yeah, I think it's whatever suits the person, whatever they want themselves. But for me. I think when I started off, obviously I used pads because it was easier to use and it was what I was given, I suppose. And as I grew up and got older, I think playing football, it suited me to use tampons easier and, and now I use them as well. So I think it just depends what you want and what you think is best for yourself. I think everybody's different and whatever makes yourself comfortable and whatever you feel better to use. Um, I think just don't let it affect your life that way. I think, um, as I said, for me growing up, I think all I ever wanted to do when I had my period was go to bed and curl up on a ball and watch TV and eat junk food for the day. I think everybody goes through that phase, but um, just try to get on with your life. It's not something that's going to hinder what you want to do. I think every woman has it, every girl has it, and it's something that you kind of have to just get on with if it comes. I mean, there's always a time where it might come when you have something planned and you can't, you're going to have to prepare for that. If it happens, it happens, and just get on with what you have to do and don't let it affect your life, I suppose. Not really, to be honest. I think it's more now that I hear of all these myths and stuff like that, and I kind of laugh at people who ever believed it, to be honest. I think um, growing up, if anybody had said something to me, I think I was the type of person who would have just kind of laughed in their face or, or told them to shut up, like what were they talking about, type of thing. So 
it was never something that I suppose let affect me. I never really took any of that on board. If someone did say something to me, I wouldn't believe. I think if it was something maybe believable, I might go and check it out. But more than likely, I kind of laugh it off and not really, really kind of think of any myths like that. I just get on with things and not really think about it. No, not at all. I think um, for me growing up, I think everybody, I knew everyone had it. I mean, I think I was kind of clever enough to realise that all the other girls in my class had it. It wasn't something that girls were afraid to talk about. Obviously, you wouldn't talk about it in front of the boys or anything like that, but I knew that other girls in my class had their period and everyone goes through it. And you kind of need to just think of that when you're embarrassed about something that you have in your bag or anything like that. Don't be because your friends more than likely beside you have the same stuff in their bag and they're going to be doing the same thing you're doing. So it's not something that you should be embarrassed about. Thank you.